Hello, traders. This is Rich from TradeSite. Here's a look look at our scans for the next session. This is going to be for Wednesday, uh, going to be for Thursday, March 12th, 2015. So we've got uh, kind of a, a bit of a pairing off situation right here. We had more of a measuring day today. We do have a couple of RPSs setting up here that are noteworthy. Biogen's got a little bit of volume with it, so that one's going to be the one that's probably got the uh, stronger potential. Uh, but we did trade a lot of volume today. Didn't really break down too much, only down uh, a little bit on the ES side and down 25 handles on the uh, NASDAQ side. Apple's still weak, and that really colored the uh, colored the, uh, the NASDAQ in general. Moving on to the financials, um, absence of signals here. The stress test is coming out tonight. Uh, so uh, we're probably going to pivot tomorrow, one degree or another, or maybe just give it a yawn, want to see what they what they do with it. But we have a couple of volume bumps. Citigroup, MasterCard did a secondary, and uh, U.S. Uh, sorry, Visa had uh, has a good volume as well. Looking at the energy names, paired off between buys and sells, more or less here. Uh, BTU had a bit of a recovery day, as did uh, PBR and uh, Bolero. Bolero had good volume, and it's setting up with the uh, contra candle to the upside for tomorrow. Here's a look at the market generals. Again, this sector is paired off as well between buys and sells for the most part. Uh, got a volume bump in IBM. I had a rough day in Coca-Cola. Had a volume bump as well. Nothing really sticking out here, other than BMW. VMware had a had a really uh, very weak day with a downside CPS and almost a closed deviation. Housing names, um, still a little bit uh, all over the place. Hobmanian still playing out to the downside here. That stock's completely beat up. Uh, did manage to close above the VWAP, but uh, substantially below the day's open on good volume. Transport's fairly quiet today, even in the face of uh, lower crude prices. Didn't do too much. We did have a, almost a volume bump in the UNP shares. And finally, moving on to the commodities. Volume bump today in silver wheat and SLW. I'm going to close really strongly. Uh, you can see the movement above the uh, today's VWAP. Also, ABX had a pretty good bounce day, as did Newmont. So the, the theme here was a pretty decent bounce day in the uh, in the GDX, which had had a, you know, basically taken the elevator down um, on the weakness uh, in the recent run uh, in the dollar. So we'll see if that uh, starts to uh, starts to uh, level off here and rest itself, because there is some, definitely some good oversold energy in some of these things. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for Taste.